morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whatever time you're watching, wherever you are. If you like these videos, click the If you like the videos, click subscribe and click the like button if you like this video in particular. So this week has been a very different week for me. From time to time, I get people from across the world, uh, from Ireland, America, Spain, and Germany. And this week, I have someone from Egypt. He's a colleague who is a vet. Uh, working out in Egypt and he wants to learn more about how I hoof trim. So he's been with me for the whole week, learning different things, how to work on different lesions and mostly how to work more professionally and more efficiently with the grinder. So here's how my week's been. <laughs> Good morning, Khaled. Morning. Did you sleep okay? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> so today I'm on farm with Khaled Saeed, or Dr. Khaled Saeed, should I say, from Alexandria in the very north regions of Egypt. Dr. Khaled is over here training and learning further disciplines within his care with myself and just to kind of see how we do it over here in Scotland. Yes, yes. Perfect. And now, if you clean off this this claw, because we're going to need a block. Right, yeah. So if you just clean it off, and we'll put a block on. It's enough, yeah. Closer, closer, closer. It's okay. <laughs> yep, keep going. Yeah, perfect. Keep going, lots and lots. More, 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 more. Yep. And gently, just soft. And you can let go now. Should be okay. So this cow has a sole altar and she's had it for quite a while. So we're gonna trim right around here, debride it, which basically means take away all the sharp edges and she should be good to go. It. Try not to cut the ulcer. You see, you like double edged. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> You're okay. Hey, hey. Here's an interesting point the saliva, when a cow is salivating, it signals that she's distressed. And obviously this is a pretty new scenario to this cow, or well, she's been in once before, but it's not nice for her because she's used to being with the rest of her herd. So if you see a cow salivating like this, it's because she's stressed out. You see? See this bit here? See where it's sticking? Try and put your knife and pull down away from it. Sometimes it can seem really awkward when you're doing these little tiny finesse parts. It's really the only way to make sure she cures. You stop whenever you think you're happy, Carla. Happy? Yeah. Yeah? This is a good job. Perfect. So Carla's been with me for a week now, uh, really concentrating on use of the grinder. He's looking at different lesions that he doesn't see in Egypt. And he's really, really come on leaps and bounds. His knife work in particular is much, much smoother. And he's getting to grips with using the grinder to shorten the toe length, take the height down, and actually start to investigate some of the lesions with him. Hi, Khaled. Hi. <laughs> Are you enjoying your week? 
Yeah, of course. Yes? Yeah. How is Scotland? That's very good. Very friendly. good? Friendly? Friendly people, yeah. But not me. Of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this cow has had an abscess in her white line, which is called soul separation in the heel. You're becoming much faster. This is under her head. Yeah. Sometimes, so see here how it's continuing down? I would use the grinder to reduce the height of this because now you're having to take a lot away with the knife. If you use the grinder, Take this portion down, and then yeah. use the knife again for the finesse. You know, for the for the details. A bit better. Yeah. Yeah. You see now, there's less horn to remove. This is looking good. Yeah, it's good. Yes. It's perfect. Look, that is fucking good. <laughs> it's very good. So Khaled has made a fantastic job of trimming this cow's foot. Here, there was a very large crack around the heel bulb, which started from the white line here and cracked all of the way back. Khaled's completely removed the loose horn, and here he has smoothed it out so there is no loose edges whatsoever. So this cow's recovery will be pretty easy for her. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this up and we're gonna put a block on here. It should be good to go. So this week has been absolutely awesome. It's been a total pleasure having Khaled over here. Learning about the differences between our culture and Khaled's culture has been seriously eye-opening, as well as getting to teach somebody who was already good at foot trimming some of the ways that I trim different lesions and the way I use a grinder to speed up my day and get through cows a little bit quicker than Khaled does usually at home. So anyway, Khaled will be heading back to Egypt within the next week or so. Um, he's actually going to be working on a 1500 cow dairy which is just about to go to 3500 cows in the next six months. I wish Khaled all the best for his future and hopefully I'll see him in Egypt this winter time when I'm over there training more people. Cheers Khaled, thanks for the laughs. Bye!